Hi, and welcome to PT Dance Instructional Videos. Today, what we're going to be talking about is the feeling of the burn during resistance training. Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? I can tell you this right now before we get into it, that if you feel some sort of pain in your body, it is an indication that something has gone wrong. For example, if you cut your skin, what do you feel? You feel pain. What about other sensations that have a negative impact or a negative feeling? When we're thirsty, we feel, and when we get dehydrated, dehydrated we get thirsty. Um, that sensation of thirst is not your body saying it's time to drink water. It's now forcing you to drink water because you are already dehydrated. It's too late. So you get all different sensations. And the bad sensations, the sensations that um, hurt or give you a bad feeling, are there to let you know that something has gone wrong. Um, other great examples would be uh, feeling hungry. When you feel hungry, it's not a good feeling. And it's your body's way of saying, hey, it's not time to eat. It's too late. You should have already eaten. And this bad sensation is now forcing you to uh, fix the problem. So when we feel the burn during resistance training, uh, is it a good or bad response to muscle being under tension? Well, this is what we're going to discover today. Here's a very quick basic recap on blood flow. So first we've got the heart, and arteries take the blood away from the heart and deliver it to your muscle tissue. So arteries turn into small capillaries, um, which are kind of like side streets going off a, off a motorway uh, that feeds your muscle tissue with oxygen. So your arteries are big, thick, and fat and come out of your heart, and they turn into tiny little small arteries, and those little small arteries are what we call capillaries. They're nice and small because the area space um, needs to enlarge, um, so that one big thick one turns into many small ones, which increases the area space around the side, which um, thins it out also, makes them smaller, and that allows for um, oxygen to pass out and uh, nutrients to pass out of the blood flow to supply your muscle tissue. Um, to get back to the heart, those tiny little small capillaries that travel through your muscle tissue now have to turn into big thick veins uh, which um, deliver oxygen, sorry not the oxygen, all the um, negative um, toxins and, and uh, hydrogen and um, carbon dioxide etc uh, back to the heart uh, that then pumps it to the lungs so it can now be expelled out of the body. So, now that we understand that, where, what's this got to do with, that, with the burn? And this is all it. The source of the pain is right here. Uh, the source of the pain comes in where the arteries turn into small capillaries. Now, what happens is that uh, these arteries that turn into small capillaries um, are very tiny. They travel through the muscle tissue. And this is what I'm coming down to. When you are doing weight training and your muscle tissue is under tension. That makes the muscle tissue tight. That muscle tissue during resistance training clamps down on the capillaries, preventing blood flowing through it. When the oxygen, when the muscle tissue is now contracting, it needs oxygen. So it's drawing all the oxygen out of the small capillaries. The capillaries, remember what I said before, there's no blood flow going through because the muscle is clamping down on those capillaries. So when all oxygen is being used, uh, there's a big problem because there's no oxygen coming in to feed that muscle tissue. So what happens is during resistance training, oxygen goes down because your muscle tissue is using the oxygen in the capillaries. And now because there's no oxygen, your body produces a byproduct called hydrogen. And when your body builds up all this hydrogen, that's where you get your burning sensation from. Your body produces hydrogen and that burns inside your muscle tissue. Your body is trying to get rid of the hydrogen, so it now produces lactic acid to flush out that hydrogen. So this is where all the burn comes in, is the hydrogen. So basically, in, in conclusion, when you exercise, your body uses oxygen. Because the muscle tissue is clamping down on the capillaries, there's no new oxygen coming through, so there's no blood flow going through. When your body uses all that oxygen, your body produces hydrogen as a byproduct. And when your body produces hydrogen as a byproduct, this is where your body now produces lactic acid to flush out the hydrogen. You muscle tissue pains because there's a lack of oxygen coming through. Um, so one of the things that we can do to prevent this is taking longer, deeper breaths. Breathe through every rep. Um, 
um, make sure you, you consistently uh, inhaling um, on the way down and exhaling on the way up so inhale on the eccentric phase and exhale on the concentric phase and, and make sure we get a lot of oxygen in if you get a lot of oxygen your body won't produce as much hydrogen and uh, your body probably won't produce as much lactic acid so next time when uh, uh, somebody says that they're feeling the burn sensation uh, what they really should be doing is simply breathing more